Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, here we have another gun wraps shotgun wrap. This is the Pulse Midnight, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap a shotgun. Here we have a 12 gauge. This is a Stoger Turkey shotgun. So uh, first things first, we're gonna get this thing cleaned up. Um, we're gonna make sure everything is nice and clean. Uh, we're gonna go hit it with some alcohol prep pads and get everything ready and disassemble it and start wrapping. All right, so as you guys can see here, I have the gun completely stripped. I took quite a bit of time to go ahead and clean the entire gun. I did clean the interior guts and took it all apart. So we do have a fresh receiver to start off on. I did clean this with some alcohol prep pads. So I'm gonna get the best contact possible. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that right now. Cool thing about gun wraps is what they do is they send you this sheet and of course on the sheet every part is labeled what is what so we are going to be starting with the receiver so i'm going to go ahead and peel a corner up off the receiver all right so here we have our receiver piece this is labeled front we're going to go ahead and make sure this is in the front of our receiver which is going to be this way we're going to make sure everything's lined up we'll go ahead and lay it down into place and start forming Biggest takeaway when you're doing this is just make sure that nothing is sticking that you don't want to stick yet. Just run your finger along all these cutouts and everything. Make sure it's laying nice and flat. You're not getting any creases or bubbles. We're just going to keep working it all the way down to the bottom. As you can see here, here is the well for the ammunition and the discharge. Go ahead and start continuing to work this down. See, we're starting to get a crease there. All we can do, just lift up, bring it back down, make sure everything's staying nice and straight. And then we're gonna get down to here. As you can see, I have the chamber lock. So we're just gonna go ahead and make a slight incision just so I can get that to peek through. Just like this that's going to allow us to get that little bit better seated over there now that we got this all formed to my liking we're going to go ahead and start cutting out all of our excess and get this all lined up best tip i can give you guys for this is just to take your exacto knife uh, if you don't have one of these definitely go pick one up it is worth the investment what i like to do is just take a nice little cut right down the center and we can start forming this into the interior of the weapon just depending on what your guys's preference is in my case i like to try to hide as much as the original color of the gun as possible we are working with an fde tan weapon so i really want this to be as covered as possible otherwise the fde is really going to stick out with this wrap so i'm just going to go ahead and work this all down into this groove making it nice and smooth take my time make sure everything's making good contact Got a little issue there. Start rubbing that down. Perfect. We'll just do that all throughout the entirety of this. And then we'll go in and cut everything out. Okay, so we have our receiver completely wrapped. We have everything cut out nice and easy. Looks super clean. We're going to move on to the stock now. So we got the stock piece on here. We're just going to keep working it all the way down. Cool thing about gun wraps is a lot of their patterns do line up so as you can see here this lines up perfectly with the receiver so we're just going to go ahead make sure this is all flat we'll go in and make our incisions and get this all formed one of the sides of the shotgun stock completely done we're going to go ahead and move along to the other side all right so as you guys can see here the receiver is completely wrapped we have everything cut out nice and neat we're going to go ahead and move on to our foregrip next Four grip is pretty simple as well as you can see everything has a label this one says front so we're going to make sure this is the front of our foregrip we're going to go ahead line this little notch up right at the front and center of this bad boy we're just going to make sure everything is going to sit nice and flat find that line this be about right there so here we have our foregrip completely wrapped. As you guys can see, I did overlap just a little bit on the inside to make sure that we do have a nice seam that is coming up and over top 
that way you don't see a line along the top but it doesn't really matter which way you do it you can cut straight along this i just like to leave a little bit extra but it looks super sweet so we're going to go ahead and move on to our last step which is going to be the barrel so for the barrel it's pretty cut and dry we're just going to go ahead and we're going to take the rear piece which is this shorter piece a little notch in the front um, we're going to go ahead and this is the rear of our barrel this notch lines right up with this little groove cut out right where that is. Just go ahead, get it nice and straight, make sure we're even on both sides. We're just going to go ahead and lay that there just like that for the time being. Come back here, make sure it's lined up, and we're good to start molding. So as you can see, we have this in place now. So very simple procedure. All you're going to want to do is take your X-Acto knife and at the arc, right where each one of these bevels is, I'll call it the rib, you're just going to take it, 45 degree angle, cut right along it, nice and smooth, it comes straight down to where it drops down at, and then this one, we're just going to take it, lay it nice and flat, and we're just going to insert our blade right in about halfway at it, we're just going to run it straight along that edge. You can get that cut out just like this. Go ahead, pull it out, take your knife, and just make sure it's all cut. And a little tag there. And then this will lift straight up and out. Just pull that right out of there like that. And this is nice and flat for us. If you have a nice tool or a credit card, go ahead and drop it into place, smooth it out. The barrel is now completely wrapped. I did go ahead and wrap the top of this just because it was a nice smooth surface so I just went ahead and got it wrapped up. But it looks absolutely phenomenal. We're going to go ahead and assemble the gun and I'll show you guys a finished product. Right, and here we have a finished product. This thing looks absolutely insane. I love this wrap on the shotgun. It looks amazing. Everything flowed together very nicely. It was all super easy to put on and uh, it is sticking very impressively on this shotgun. Again, this is a Stoger M3500 series shotgun 12 gauge. Well guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for the gun wraps. This is the Pulse Midnight wrap um, for a shotgun. Again, this is the Stoger M3500 series, so a larger style shotgun. It has a 28 inch barrel. Um, everything fit super nicely on this. It all went together very smoothly, and I am definitely impressed with the outcomes of this wrap. Um, at first, when I got it, again, this is not my gun. This is what a customer ordered, and this is what he wanted. Um, I wasn't sure what to think about the camo, but now seeing on this gun, it looks absolutely phenomenal. And everything adhered very well. Again, you don't need to have any expensive equipment. Go uh, get some alcohol prep pads, clean this bad boy, clean your weapons before you do this, guys. I could not stress that enough. If you want to see more videos about how to do these, I do have more down below. I've done pistols, shotguns, and we got an AR coming up soon. Um, pretty excited about that. So, uh, But guys, definitely go check out Gun Wraps. They have some phenomenal products with so many different patterns and options to choose from. Um, different types of wraps, too, for shotguns, pistols, ARs. You name it, they have it, including gear wrap. Talk about binoculars, binos, um, range finders, all that cool stuff. They have wraps for it. Plus, so many different options to pick from. It's a no-brainer. Plus, it's not going to cost you the amount of money as Cerakote is going to cost you. Um, these wraps usually come in at about 60 bucks for the long guns, around $30 for the handguns. So, very cheap, very affordable, and you can do this at home with no special tools required. All you need is some heat, some cleaning, and of course a knife to cut this bad boy. So big shout out to Gum Raps for sending that bad boy out to me. It is absolutely sick and I am so happy with the way it turned out. Um, if you guys want to go check them out, I'll leave a link down below where you guys can go view their website and what they have to offer. And thank you my lovely subscribers for watching all the way to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's content and you haven't already, like and subscribe. We got some cool stuff coming up and again we have an AR wrap going up very shortly. So I will be doing a how to tutorial. And I'll try to dive into a little bit more depth. Um, I try to steer clear of the cleaning process and how to do majority of this. As I mentioned, I do have some other videos that go into a little bit more depth. But uh, go ahead and check those out and check Gun Wraps out. And as always, guys, I'll catch you guys.
next time.